And finally, new rule, the next time we have a worldwide pandemic, we have to come up with a better solution than everyone becomes Howie Mandel. You know Howie, I know Howie. Who doesn't love Howie? The world's most famous germaphobe who was social distancing before it was cool. Well, now, of course, everybody's making the joke that Howie Mandel had it right all along. No, Howie would be the first to tell you he has a disease, OCD, that fucks up your life. He can't touch a doorknob or wear shoes with laces because they might touch the ground. When he excuses himself to go to the bathroom, it's to clean it. No wonder, he says, it was always a curse. That behavior didn't allow me to date or go out with anybody when I was young or really even have friends. He also said, I'm always on the verge of death in my head. I worry that the past two months of quarantine have given people the idea that the way for humans to win our million year war with microbes is to avoid them completely. And I'm here to tell you, you can't. The key to beating COVID isn't dining through glass or never going to a concert or a ball game again. It's your immune system. You hear people say COVID-19 is a new virus, so the immune system doesn't know how to handle it. Bullshit, of course it does. That's why the vast majority of people have had it, either recovered or didn't even know they had it. What do you think did that? The human immune system. Now, there are people with immune systems that can't do the job and we should make it a priority to protect those people. But compulsively washing, being scared of your own hands, that can't become the new normal. In his later years, when he was peeing into jars and wearing Kleenex boxes for shoes, we pitied Howard Hughes because it was pitiful. In the 70s, they made a TV movie with John Travolta about a sick kid called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. And let me tell you, if they start selling these things on Amazon, we're in trouble. I, I, I see there's a hot new item for sale online, disinfecting shoe mats, because COVID can get on your feet. Yes, it can get everywhere. Microbes are ubiquitous. You can keep discovering new places to scare people into buying protection for, but we're solving the problem from the wrong end. This is a health problem. We can't sanitize the universe. Governors should declare keeping our bodies in good health an essential job, because that's the only way we are going to win this. We've all read the articles. Your sink has 500,000 bacteria per square inch. Your toothbrush has feces on it. E. coli has been found in makeup, carpets, bedding, the remote cutting boards. The average pillow has 350,000 bacteria colonies. They're filled with more shit than the guy selling them. Your phone has 10 times the bacteria of your toilet, which your dog drinks out of and then licks you. I, I could see right over there, right now, one of my dogs lying on the driveway like a dead fucking fly, the driveway where cars with God knows what on their tires pull in, and then that idiot rolls in it. And the other one, I don't know where he is, which means he's into something worse. Sometimes I see a, a dead mouse in the driveway. I don't have a cat. Something here killed it. <laughs> I'm not pointing fingers, but there's only the three of us. My point is, God knows what is all over your pets and in their mouth, and then you invite them on the bed and they try to French kiss you and sometimes succeed. And some people don't even fight it. But what's the point of a pet if you're not going to pet it? It's in the name. And what's the point of life if you can't live it? Have you ever had sex in a hotel? <laughs> Did you wash your hands first? Mm. Well, the last couple didn't either. And yet you're still alive because your immune system said, we got this. So this weekend, do something nice for your immune system. Go outside, that mysterious land beyond your curtains where the Grubhub drivers live, and get some fresh air and vitamin D and break a sweat doing something besides eating hot chicken. Because at the end of the day, 
you can't keep all the pathogens out. It would be as silly as thinking you could stop immigration with a wall.